Well, hello gang of viewers, it's Peter L. I've gone from Brentwood, Essex in England again. This time, I'm going to talk about this little Olympus Zuko Auto Macro Lens, which I was kindly loaned by a fellow member of Brentwood and District Photographic Club. That's one of the good reasons to join the club. You can get loads of help and loads of free gear, but this isn't free, I've got to give it back. But it's wonderful, I've had a play with it. It's a 50mm f3.5 maximum aperture macro lens designed for close-up photography. And it racks out like that. And the closest focusing distance is 0.23 of a metre in white there. It's got the click stops from 3.5 down to f22. You can go halfway if you like, like that. And what I'm talking about why you should get a macro lens if you want to do a lot of close-up photography. When you've got plenty of good other 50 millimeter lenses. Well, first of all, we'll show you the Pentax one. This is my Pentax, and this time, it's a 50 millimeter and it's f4, not 3.5. This racks out quite a way and it goes down to 0.234 of a meter and it has stops from f4 down to f22. The Olympus also stops down to f22 as I showed you here, that's right. Now we'll have a look at the other Olympus lenses. I've got the famous 1.4 lens here and I've got a 50mm 1.8. So you can say why don't you use those for close-up work? Well the reason is there's no such thing as a perfect lens for every occasion. So if you're photographing a subject and it's you want it sharp from edge to edge, you think you're going to get good results using a standard 50mm lens, but not every time, no. Let me look at this little thing here, this diagram. Here we have a lens pointing down at a subject which is in the black line. And you, you want the focus to be right across on the red line, in focus with the subject. But if you're using a standard 50mm lens, especially one which is 1.4 and 1.2, you will get what is known as curvature of field. Your focus and your picture comes out sharp in the centre. But when you look at the edges, they're out of focus. Well, I stopped down and it's not very sharp. Why is that? Okay, I'll focus again. I look at the edges. I want the edges sharp. So you focus on the edges to make them go in line with the subject. But when you look at the centre, the centre's not sharp. That is known as curvature field of your lens. Your standard 50mm lenses are designed to get their best definition at about 20 feet away, not close up feet, not close up at 0.2 a meter. And also, you'll find you can't stop them down to f22 on a lot of these lenses. They only go down to f16. Whereas you've got loads and loads of glass like these. Like a 50 millimeter 1.4 got more glass in it than a 1.8 only stops down f16 doesn't go to f22 that is because if you stop down further you suffer from diffraction effects and your actual hole gets so small I can't work the Olympus diaphragm here oh here we are I'm gonna stop it down here we are. Your actual hole gets so small 
it gives you what is known as diffraction. Um, no, I can't, I can't work the Olympus diaphragm to show you, sorry. You'll find your definition is poor. So, you get a macro lens for your close-up photography. And if you want to, you can stop down to f22. Now with the Pentax one, I found it has reproduction ratios on it. And that's the white line, look. There we are. That's, that's twice life size. And that goes down, go down to half life size over here. It doesn't go down to one to one, only half life size. But the Olympus one doesn't give you an indication of the reproduction ratios. It only shows you the focusing distance. So you have to work it out yourself. But I've done some really good pictures when it fitted to my Olympus OM2N, which I have taken over from my son, who was given it, my widow lady, never uses it now, real cameras, they only use his blasted gadget to take pictures. Look, red dot to red dot, line it up, there we are. Lovely, Olympus macro lens now. Takes, wind it on, take a snap, there we are. Now I haven't used it at all apertures, I took a few, because I'm under lockdown because of my operation and I can't go out walking around, I have to do garden photography but I've got a few here and then the printer packed up on my printer so I can't do darkroom work either at the moment so these are printed from the computer but here's one in the garden one of my wife's little doggies that was only taken at 5.6 I think it was with the motor wind to help me get it steady with 100 ASA Jessup's pan 100 film with a tiny little one of her little ornaments in the back garden this was indoors with window light my dad's medals and look at that pin sharp that's sharp right across and there's no curvature field on it and it was only stopped down to f8 I didn't need F16 or anything because it's fairly flat. With more depth than a subject like this, if you want the background sharp, then well you can stop down more. But I didn't want the background too sharp, I wanted it out of focus. So there we are the Olympus 15mm 3.5 macro lens shown to you. I've got to give it back shortly, so I hope you've enjoyed this video all about it. Thanks for watching.